Afternoon everyone, welcome to another Black Country homebrew video. Um, today we are going to be doing a cider. So I've just been down the brewing shop and I've just picked up this Mangrove Jacks uh, Passion Fruit and Peach Cider. It's currently 30 degrees in this house so it made me want to brew a cider ready for the summer. And I've also got the Mangrove Jacks Cider Enhancer to go with that as well. Um, to complement the brew, we're going to be going with pure brew as per usual on all the brews that I do. Gets rid of all the nasty taste that can come along with home brewing. So first thing we're going to do is so I'm going to warm this up for a little bit, uh, make sure it's nice and ready to be poured in. Uh, we're going to initially do everything in this bucket and then transfer into my king keg um, for fermentation to take place. I'll then transfer, once it's fermented, transfer it into my other king keg for serving. So yeah, well, let me uh, crack on, get this warmed up and then I'll see you back in a second. Right then, so I've just had the pack sitting in some hot water for a little while and I gave it a sanitise before I cut it open. Um, for those of you who haven't seen the mango jack kits before, you get two sides. You can basically get a dry side which has all your instructions in and then the other side which has the malt extract um, inside the kit. You've got your cider yeast, which is M02. Um, sweetener, depending on how sweet you want the brew, uh, depends on how much of that you put in. And then we've got the peach and passion fruit flavourings, which we'll put later in on the brew. You do also get your instructions, which are here as well. Excuse the black nails, I've just got down, back from Download Festival, so I'm yet to take them off. So. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, according to the instructions, is clean and sanitise, which we have done. Um, pour the contents of the wet compartment into your sanitised fermenter and squeeze out the remains. So we'll do that first. So here's my sanitised fermenter and in goes the extract, which as you can see, because it has been warmed up, it's coming out very easily. as much of that out as I can. So I'm now just going to fill this up with a bit of hot water, sweet out and tip it in. So I've got some hot water in there. I just normally just fold it over like that. Give it a swish around, as you can imagine, that's quite hot. And then open it back up. And tip that into there. Like so. So, next bit on the instructions. Add three litres of boiling water to the fermenter, so there's probably about half a litre in there. So in the kettle. Uh, so there's one litre. I'm gonna have to boil the kettle again back in a sec. Right, so my kettle's just reboiled and I've just filled it back up now so put the three litres in. I'm just gonna give that all a bit of a stir. Um, make sure that's all together, which it is now. Um, and then the next part is we're gonna add the cider enhancement. So I've just took this out of the box and it's just a bag of more liquid. So the uh, scissors, which are starting to sanitize that. Cut that open. That smells like pure apple. Sweet apple. And then I'm just going to take that in as well. And that's much better as I can. And then same as before, I'm just going to put a bit of water in here. Give that a good swim out. 
well. Once again, fold it over. Just swish it out. So basically with my chubby fermenter you can't put any liquids over 50 degrees in that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to top this up to 15 litres initially to get the water cooled down. I've got a temperature gauge on the side of this bucket um, and then I'll tip that into the chubby fermenter followed by then another 7 litres of water. So that will give it all a good mix together um, and then we'll chuck the yeast and the sweetener in. So. I'm just going to fill this up with some cold water and then I'll um, come back to you after I've done that. So I've just topped it up to 15 litres which is at now so I'm just giving it all a good stir to make sure that it's all mixed in together. And then I'm initially going to transfer this 15 litres into the chubby fermenter. So the reason I didn't put it straight into the fermenter was one because as mentioned you can't put anything over 50 degrees to the fermenter and secondly um, I don't have a uh, gauge on here to read how much is in there um, I haven't had a chance to calibrate it I probably could have done it on this proof but, um, so now I'm going to place the chubby down here like so That should be below 30 degrees. One second, Just tip that up slightly. Yeah, so it's currently at 30 degrees, so that's fine. Put my funnel in, and now I'm just going to tip this into the fermenter. back to you in a second. So that's the initial 15 litres in there. I'm just now going to measure out another 7 litres of the bucket and transfer that into there as well. So just simply a case of using my measuring jug, measuring out 7 litres. So obviously maths is a much strong point today, it was 8 litres I needed, it's 15 plus 8 is 23 litres, but anyway, that's now in the bucket now, so I'm just going to tip that in as well. is now done. So I'm just going to lift the onto the counter like so. So we have the required amount in there now. So the next thing we want to do is add my uh, Harris Pure Brew, which, as I said before, I'm using all my brews. So 
first part of that is getting one of the capsules which I've got here and crushing it between two spoons like so I'm just getting all that in there like that and then where have I put it? This teaspoon of this goes for one spoon. That box now goes in a bit more for good luck. Goes into the brew. Sweetener. So I am going to go for the full sweetness on this. So, uh, put some for that. That's bright. Scissors. Put that open. And tip that in. So it's a non-fermentable non sweetener. So I'll add a load of sweetness to it. Um, and then, all that's left to do is the yeast. Um, so we're still a little bit too hot for that, so I'm just going to give it a few minutes to cool down and then we'll pitch the yeast. So, temperature now 24 degrees, so that's the top end of the limit to pitch the yeast. So, I'm just going to give that a spray just in case there's anything nasty on it. And cut that open. Open the sachet up. Like so. Oh, it smells lovely. And pitch that into the brew like so. Uh, and now for one final time, I'm just going to get the uh, salad spoon, put that in, and just get that all mixed together. I'm trying not to touch the sides on the ferment there because I don't want to damage it. Like so. And now we're going to place this in, which is sanitised, seal that down. <coughs> Where I've put the lid, it's here. That's what it's sanitizing. Quite in that, like so. So now um, I'm going to ferment this at about 15 psi, I think. So I've got a spongy valve, um, which I'm going to put on top. The gas out for fermentation. So this is actually the Bundy valve that comes with a kit, um, with a keg, sorry. Um, so I'm just going to place that on there. It wants to go on. Why is that? Like so. And then I'll set that to 15 psi when it gets to it. And we'll from out from there. So thanks for watching. Um, next part of this video will be the taste test once it's done. So I shall see you then. Thanks.